because they are anxious. So can you guys do me a favor? Can you move our sofa? Walk on your seatbelt. Walk on the seatbelt. We have a, I have a few announcements that I have to give out. What are those anxious? Make sure you have your calendar, stand your calendar. Write it down. Escríbalo porque we have a few things that we're going to be doing. Tenemos unas cuantas cosas que vamos a estar haciendo. Number one, a uh, women's retreat. El retiro de Turn in your, your, your final payments in the envelope. Ponga sus um, pagos finales en un sobre. Entreguenlo um, cuando pase la, la, la mesa de los sugieros. Put it in when the usher buckets are coming in. All right? Number two, número dos. Uh, youth convention. Convención de jóvenes. Uh, youth camp, I'm sorry. Ca campamento de jóvenes. Okay, so ya tenemos la lista. We have the list of who's going, los que van a ir. Um, if you guys could please do me a favor, I, I, I need those payments as soon as possible. Ocupo esos pagos um, lo más rápido que se pueda. If you guys are, if, if you have, if God has put in your hearts, if Dios ha puesto sus corazones a patrocinar a un estudiante to sponsor a student, please put it in an envelope, put you camp, and turn it in, in the usher uh, uh, bucket. Si, si, uh, por favor, escríbanle en el sobre para you camp, para campamento de jóvenes, y por favor, entreguenlo en la, en la canasta que se va a estar pasando. A ver. Okay, everybody, is good so far? Todo, todo bien? Oh, okay, so the other thing I wanted to mention, otra cosa que quería mencionar, is that there's going to be a marriage conference, va a haber un, una conferencia de matrimonios. Um, esta conferencia se está hecha por Breath of Life, está, this conference is made by, uh, it's going to be done by Breath of Life. And, um, and if you want any more details, please see Angelica. Si ocupa más detalles, por favor, vean Angelica. El de total de, de esta conferencia es de 160 dólares. The total of this conference is 160 dollars. Amen? Amen. All right. The other thing I wanted to mention was, uh, you know, we have been praying for San Bernardino. Hemos estado orando por San Bernardino. Amen? Amen. How many of you guys have been praying for San Bernardino? ¿Cuántos de ustedes están orando por San Bernardino? Right? So guess what? There's gonna be a revival kind of meeting that we're gonna have with a lot of pastors from San Bernardino. Va a haber un avivamiento aquí en la ciudad con muchos pastores aquí en San Bernardino. Y va a ser en julio. It's gonna be in July 13, 14, and 15. 13, 14, 15. Cae el jueves, viernes y sábado. Um, and it's going to be um, G Street and 10th and G. 10th and G, en la 10 y la G. Está una iglesia grande ahí, y ahí es donde nos vamos a reunir todos. If you want more information, please let us know. Si ocupa más información, por favor, déjenos saber. Pero van a ser muchas iglesias de San Bernardino que nos vamos a unir. It's going to be a lot of churches from San Bernardino that we're going to be together and we're going to be united. Amen? Did you guys hear all that? Los disfrutados todos? Okay, all right. So now that we have the, the, the announcements done, ahora ya que terminamos los anuncios, all right, we're gonna start our service. Vamos a empezar nuestro servicio, amen? amen. So, I just saw, uh, you know, how many of you guys are hearing firecrackers right now? ¿Cuántos de ustedes están oyendo los puentes? Oh, yeah. Some of you guys can't even sleep, ¿Cuántos de ustedes tal vez no pueden dormir. But you know what? But you know what? I was just listening to the fireworks the other day. I was listening to the fireworks the other day. And I heard different sounds. I escuché diferentes sonidos. And then, you know what? It reminded me of when I was a kid, when I was a kid. I don't know if you guys have ever played with fireworks. I don't know if you guys have ever played with fireworks. I don't But when I was a kid, I used to love the little sticks. Those little sticks with that, that, that were sparkle. Me gustaban mucho esos, esos, uh, esos palillos que aventaban chispa. As I grew older, cuando crecí un poquito más grande, I started to, to, to play with um, um, a little bit more dangerous fireworks. Empecé a jugar con um, puentes un poquito más grandes. And as I grew older, cuando crecí más grande, um, now I can I I see the bigger fireworks. Puedo ver los puentes más grandes. Not the legal ones, not the illegal ones, but the legal ones, the legal ones. And you know what? It's something again. It was reminded me of, you know, you know, we're in July. Ustedes sabían que estamos en julio? And something we do as a family, algo que nosotros hacemos como familia, is that, you know, at the end of the six month period, we kind of go and reevaluate what we did in the first six months. 
Because it's a second half. Lo que nosotros hacemos es que vamos y evaluamos lo que hicimos en la primera mitad porque ya vamos a empezar la segunda mitad. And you know what? I was, I was reminded, me estaba recordando, if I was a firework, si yo fuera un cohete, how much spark would I give? ¿Cuánta, eh, cuánta luz yo había dado? How much light did I give? How much uh, did I make a lot of noise? How many of you guys heard, heard of the piccolo peak? Los, 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 los esos que chizo and that. Ooh. Do we make a lot of sound and not that enough light and not fashion? Do we have a lot of sound and not much action? Reevaluate yourself in the past six months. Reevaluate uh, uh, tú mismo los últimos seis meses. And if you were a firework, if you were a cohete, how much light would you give? What that luz has dado? And then I was thinking, you know what? How how have we done as a church? How have we done as a church? Have we been light to San Bernardino? San Bernardino? Have we been light in San Bernardino? Or do we come every Sunday? We must stand here every Domingo, just warming up the bench, no más cantelando, acalentando la banca. And I was like, no. This next six months, estos siguientes seis meses, I want to be the most glowing firework there is. Quiero ser ese puente que va a dar luz. But we cannot do that without God. No podemos hacer eso sin Dios. So you know what? It starts here. It begins here. First month, first first Sunday of July, primer domingo de julio. You're here. Estás aquí. God brought you here. Dios te trajo aquí. Are you ready? Estás listo. A lot of you guys may know it, muchos de ustedes tal vez la conocen. But it said, There's joy in the house of the Lord. Hay gozo en la casa de Dios. It says, There is joy in the house of the Lord today. Hay gozo en la casa de Dios ahora. And it doesn't end there, no termina allí. It doesn't end there, no termina allí. Because I was reminded during the pandemic, during the pandemia, they, 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 they kind of made us, they wanted us to be quiet. Nos querían callar. But let me tell you something. We're privileged. We're not privileged. We're not going to be quiet. The song says, and we will not be quiet. We won't be quiet. No one will stop callados. We shout our praise. Let us to what? Para qué? To worship our God. Para alabar a nuestro Dios. So I'm going to tell you what it says. No more time. Let's go and see what it says one more time. And I just want you to capture this. Quiero que captures esto. It says, There is joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout our praise. Dice, Hay gozo en la casa de Dios ahora. Y no me voy a callar. Le voy a lavar. So, I don't know about you guys, but I want to be quiet. Yo no puedo ser un perro, pero yo no me voy a callar. So, can we all just get up real quick? Vamos a levantar un poco. And we're going to pray. Vamos a orar. We're going to pray. But we're going to pray that the will of God is going to be done today. Que lo que Dios tiene para Dios ahora, que lo vamos a recibir. And then we're going to pray. We're going to adore. How many of you guys are ready to worship? How many of you guys are ready to worship? But before that, after this, I don't want any interruptions. I don't want any interruptions in the service after this. So how many of you guys are missing your elements? How many of you guys are missing your elements? Me. How many of you guys are missing it? How many of you guys are missing it? Raise your hands so the ushers can give it to you right away. All right. 
So we're going to pray. You guys ready, Stanley stuff? Yeah. All right. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you, Lord, for this day. Padre, te queremos dar gracias por este día. We're here to rejoice, Lord. Estamos aquí para alegrarnos. We're here to worship you. Estamos aquí para alabarte. We want to ask you, Lord, that you take control over this service. Quiero que tomes el control de este servicio. We are ready to receive for what you have for us. Estamos listos para recibir lo que, lo que tú tienes para ahora de nosotros, Señor. We just want to ask you, Lord, that our focus is going to be on you. Que nuestro enfoque sea en ti, Señor, and only you. De solamente en ti, Padre. We give you this service in Jesus' mighty name. Te damos este servicio en el nombre de Cristo Jesús. Y todos los iglesias dicen, ¿no?
te como propuso en su corazón. No con tristeza, ni, con, ni por necesidad. Porque Dios ama al dado alegre. The word of God says, each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or, un or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Dice que ama al dador alegre. Dice que ama al dador alegre. Cuando demos a Dios hay que dar hermanos con el corazón abierto. When we give to God, our brothers and sisters, we should give with our open heart. Porque aquel que siembra escasamente, a sí mismo cosechará. The one who gives, scars will give. Pero aquel que siembra hermanos, en abundancia, en abundancia recibirá. The one who gives in abundance. Y esto yo lo tengo comprobado porque Dios me ha bendecido grandemente. No hay que dar, hermanos, con el puño cerrado, sino con la mano abierta. Para sí mismo recibir de Dios. Vamos a orar y así vamos a después a que pasen los pies a que los emprendan. Padre Santo, te damos gracias, bendito Dios, por este momento, Señor, en cuanto vamos a alabar de esta forma, Padre nuestro. Señor, tú sabes bendecir, Padre nuestro, a cada uno, Señor, conforme, tu, conforme la necesidad, Padre, la cual está pasando, bendito Dios. Te damos gracias, Padre nuestro, porque tú eres quien nos bendice, Padre nuestro. Y de lo mucho que nos da, Señor, Padre Santo, te vamos a dar, bendito Dios, en este momento, Padre nuestro, lo que es tuyo, bendito Dios. Que seas tú bendiciendo, Señor, al dador alegre, amándolo más y más, bendito Dios. Lo pedimos en el nombre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, Padre nuestro, bendito Dios. Que seas tú bendiciendo en el hogar, en el trabajo, bendito Padre nuestro. Para que así, Padre Santo, bendito Dios, tenga para suplir, bendito Padre nuestro, para los santos de este lugar, Padre Santo. Te lo pedimos en el nombre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, Padre nuestro, bendito Dios. Y todos decimos amén y amén.
declare the command to declare that you need the ninety nine for get the money or get the money. I don't know if you guys remember. You know, since you guys remember that when you got saved, when you got saved, you were saved. Thank you. 
Jesus was sitting down with his disciples and Jesus said, go to the disciples. But your part, he broke bread and he said, this is my body. He go, es es mi cuerpo. And as we remember that cross, we remember the cross. We remember, we remember that body that was in the cross, ese cuerpo que estaba en esa cruz, siendo crucificado, be crucified for us, for nosotros. So in remembrance of that, in memoria de eso, I get to mark it down and let's take of the bread.
see, you were able to see and then became blind? To, to be being born blind. El ser nacido um, a ciego es diferente a, a, a ver, haber podido ver alguna vez y luego ser ciego. So we're going to be looking at that. Vamos a estar viendo a eso. Y en este milagro, and in this, and in this specific uh, miracle, it got messy. Se puso un poquito medio, ¿cómo se dice messy en, en español? Sucio. No, un poco sucio. Ah, sucio, soy muy feo. Se puso un poco sucio. Y me quedé malo de messy. Yeah. And let me tell you why. Déjales digo por qué. If you guys have your Bible, si tienes sus Biblias, um, if you guys could go to John chapter 9, vamos a ir a, a Juan capítulo 9. And if you guys don't have your Bible, si no tienes sus, sus Biblias, no worry about it, no se preocupen. I have it up here, lo tengo acá arriba. Okay. Okay. <coughs> And we're going to be reading verse number 6. Vamos a estar leyendo el verso número 6. Uh, I'm sorry, chapter 9, verse 1. Vamos a estar leyendo el, el, el versículo número 1 del capítulo número 9. And it says this, y dice esto. It says, as Jesus went along, he saw a blind man, uh, blind, uh, uh, he saw a man blind from birth. Al pasar, Jesús vio a un hombre ciego de nacimiento. Like I was explaining, lo que estaba explicando, que when you're born blind, cuando, estás, uh, cuando naces ciego, you don't have the experience, no tienes la experiencia de que es el poder ver. Uh, you don't have the experience to know what it is to see. It's to, uh, um, we've got a game out upstairs. I put you let's show un juego allá arriba con los jóvenes with the with the with the youth. And guess what we do? ¿Sabes lo que hacemos? We put chairs, ponemos sillas, y la camis como una así como así diferentes formas. And one of, the, one of the students gets up, one of the estudiantes se sube a la silla. And they have to go to the next chair, se tiene que subir a la tiene que uh, irse a la siguiente silla. Con la voz de los estudiantes, with the voice of the other students. And then we have somebody who's sometimes is, he's kind of sneaky, hay alguien que siempre está ahí que quiere hacer el mal. And they start telling them the opposite, empieza a decir lo, lo opuesto. And, but, you know, our students, um, um, fortunately enough, unfortunately, we haven't had a blind student. No hemos tenido un estudiante que no tenga, no tenga vista. But they know what is a chair. Saben que es una silla. As soon as they touch it, cuando la toman, they know it's a chair. Saben que es una silla. And they kind of know the form. Saben cómo es la forma. And they kind of trust it because they know it's a chair. Le, le, le tienen confianza porque saben que es una silla. Now, when you're born blind, cuando tienes, cuando eres nacido um, 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 ciego, no tienes uh, la capacidad, like, la, la tocas, puedes tocar y más o menos puedes saber la forma, you can touch it, you can kind of know the form of it, but you don't really know exactly how the chair looks, no sabes exactamente cómo la silla se mira. So today, ahora, we're going to ask God, le vamos a pedir a Dios, que nos, de, que nos deje ver that he will allow us to see what we have never seen before lo que no hemos visto antes because as we go to John as we continue to read along seguimos leyendo but I'm, I'm just gonna I'm, I'm go to certain parts the, the kind of parts that, that are gonna make sense with this message buenas las partes que están que, 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 que van a hacer sentido con el mensaje de ahora en el, el capítulo, en el, el versículo 6, uh, on verse number 6, it says, After saying this, he spit on the ground. So Jesus saw a blind man. Dios vio, uh, Jesús vio a un, a, a, un, um, a un ciego. And then he says, he spit on the floor. Que escupió en el piso. Have you guys ever spit? Uh, algunos de ustedes uh, uh, han escupido? I see some baseball players. I see some of those jugadores de baseball. Y los veo. 
lo. Pero eso es que Jesús pisó en el suelo, en el ground, y luego hizo some blood. Dice que, 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 escup, que escupió la tierra y luego hizo lodo con su saliva. He made mud with his saliva. ¿Es eso Messi? ¿Es eso sucio? ¿Es eso sucio? ¿Es eso Messi? So he, he was creating a, a mess. Estaba haciendo, estaba haciendo algo sucio. And then it didn't stop there. No paró ahí. And then he got the, he got the, he, he got the saliva and the mud and he put it on the, on the, on the blind man's eyes. Dice que tomó el lodo y se lo puso en los, en los ojos del ciego. Would you put another man's saliva on your eyes? ¿Tú te pusieras uh, la saliva de otro hombre en, tu, en tus ojos? I would if it was Jesus. Yo sí lo haría si fuera Jesús. Nada lo imoge ahora que lo conocemos. ¿Quién es? Amen. All this mess, todo esto sucio was going to become a miracle. Iba a ser un milagro. And that relates to our life. Eso se relata a nuestras vidas. Think about this. Piensa en esto. How messy was your life before you knew Jesus? ¿Qué tan sucia era tu vida antes de conocer a Jesús? Tú fue una suciedad, le podemos llamar. It was, it was a mess, we could call it. But there was a miracle that was going to happen one day. There was a little milagro que iba a suceder después. And you might be here for the first time. A lo mejor estar aquí por la primera vez. And you don't know who Jesus is. Y no sabes quién es Jesús. And your life could be a mess. Tu vida puede ser muy sucia. But there's a miracle at the end. If you accept Jesus, hay un milagro que puede suceder si aceptas a Jesús. I started this message, uh, this service, and this service, and this let's look back at this past six months. I can get atrás estos seis meses. Maybe the, uh, in, between January to June and the enero and uh, junio, your life has been a mess. Uh, tu vida uh, está sucia. But I'm going to tell you something that voy a decir ahora. God is calling you. Dios te está llamando a ti para que haya un milagro después de esa suciedad. So there could be a miracle after the mess. Somebody here today and it's not key? It's time. It's tiempo, iglesia. It didn't end there. No terminó allí. Let me tell you something. God could have been like, I'm just, he could have been on a snap of a finger and said, I want you to see. Yo no me había dicho, tronando los dedos y decir que viera. But it didn't happen that way. No, su no sucedió así. There was a process, hubo un proceso. Why? Porque hay hubo un proceso. Because there's something behind it. Tiene que haber algo detrás de eso. It says that he put his saliva in the man's eye. Puso la saliva en los ojos de ese hombre. And it was messy. It was sucio. Recently, recientemente, me and Angelica went on a little date. Fuimos a una a una cena, yo y ella. And we went to this place. Y entramos a este lugar. And I kind of knew about it, you más o menos sabía, but I couldn't remember how it happened. No sabía exactamente lo que tenía. But we sat on the table, nos sentamos en la, en la silla, and they gave me a, ¿cómo se dice va a ver en inglés? A bib. They gave me a bib. And I'm like, am I a kid? So you know? And then they gave, they gave me gloves, me dieron guantes. And I'm like, what is this? Dije, ¿qué es esto? 
Estaba lidiando, they put a, a piece of paper on the table, pusieron un pedazo de papel en, en, en la mesa. And I'm like, what is this? ¿Qué es esto? And then, I figured it out, me di cuenta, I looked around, empecé a ver alrededor. I saw all those tables were super messy. Viste todas las mesas estaban sucias. And it was because the food they were giving out was like, we were to grab it with the hands, las agarramos, las cosas que nos daban, las agarramos con las manos. And then we ate it, la comíamos, y we could throw the things in the table, podemos tirar las cosas en la, en la mesa. And it was messy, hija, se puso sucio. Esta, but it was good, but it was good. And can I tell you something? Te digo algo? On the midst of all that mess, in the midst of all that mess, it was good, it was good. Yes. So let me tell you something, te voy a decir algo. You might have a messy life, but it's in the vida, the um, um, sucia. Pero si Dios está ahí, si, 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 si hace lo que Dios te pide, si, if you do what God tells you, it's going to be good, it's going to be bueno. And it says that he spit, this is that he escupió, and he put that, that, look, Angelica, can I tell you a little story about Angelica, too, I'm gonna, she's gonna, she's, she, when I get home, she's gonna sleep anyway. But the young person's gonna be the one that, so I'm gonna tell you, let's go see it. Not long ago, not that, not that, not that much time, but she wanted to know who her dad is, quería saber quién era su papá. So she took a DNA test, se tomó un, un examen de DNA, de DNA. Are they? Ah, ah, you can't just translate it like that. No, 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 And I remember, I, I don't know who, who, who talked about this, Ali que habló de esto, but it's true, pero es verdad. This is that, 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 that saliva had Jesus' DNA. Esta saliva tenía el ADN de Jesús. It has what? It has Jesus' DNA that would make this blind man see. Tenía el ADN de Jesús que podía hacer a este hombre mirar. Now, ahora, we got that, the, the Jesus DNA was in that man's eyes. Sabíamos que el, día, el ADN de Jesús estaba en los ojos de ese hombre. And he made a miracle, hizo un milagro. Now, can you imagine, puedes imaginarte, we have the Holy Spirit, tenemos el Espíritu Santo. Um, 
So he put it that man said, ay, se lo puso en los ojos del, del ciego. And then on John chapter, uh, verse 7, en el, en el versículo número 7, it says, go, he told him, wash in the pool. So the man went and washed and came back home seeing. Y le dijo, ve, a la parte en, la, en el estanque, fue entonces y se lavó y regresó viendo. The man could have been there and, and, said, and Jesus could have said, just open your eyes. The, the Jesús le podía haber dicho, nomás abre los ojos. But he told him, go. Le dijo, ve. To go wash himself, que se fuera a lavar. He had to have some skill in the game. Tenía que tener algo que él tenía que hacer para que, pa que supiera que él también tuvo parte de eso. En la realidad, no solamente eso. But let me tell you, les voy a decir, what did God use to make that miracle happen? ¿Qué usó Dios para hacer ese milagro que sucediera? He used what? ¿Qué usó? He used a mess, he used a, 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 a sucio, but he used a lie, but he used what? ¿Qué usó? How do you make what? ¿Qué, ¿Cómo uh, haces, haces el lodo? Dirt. Dirt, yeah. Dirt. And that captured my attention even more. Eso cautivó mi atención más. Because what is man made out of? ¿De qué has hecho, hecho el hombre? Yeah. It's made out of dirt. Estamos ocho de, 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 de polvo de tierra. And he used dirt, usó tierra. He went back, se regresó to the original plan, the plan original. He went back to the original plan. The Jesús se fue a los plan original. The world made out of dirt, somos hechos de tierra. Dice que polvo eres y que polvo te convertirás. Dice que we're made out of dirt and we're going to turn it to dust when we die. And he went back to the original plan. I'm going to tell you this today. Les voy a decir ahora esto. God wants to go back to, your, to the original plan. Dios quiere llevarte para atrás al plan original. You might, you might have a, had a messed up life. A lo mejor tuviste una vida muy mala. But he wants to take you back to the original plan. Te quiere llevar para atrás al plan original. God never wanted you to be uh, 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 in, in that addiction. Dios nunca te quiso que tú estuvieras en esa adicción. God never wanted you to, 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 to be able to, to be addicted to pornography. Dios no quería que tú estuvieras adicto a la pornografía. God never wanted you to, 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 to be addicted to alcohol. Dios nunca quería que tú fueras adicto al alcohol. God did not want your life to be the way that you, that, that you were. Dios no quería que, que, que tú tuvieras esa vida que tuviste. But he wants, you take, he, wants, he wants to take you back to that original plan. Te quiere llevar para atrás al plan original. The problem is, the problem is, are you willing to go back to that original plan? Estás listo para regresar a ese plan original que Dios tenía para ti. Or are you willing to keep on living the life that you're living? O quieres seguir viviendo la vida que tú vivías o, o que estás viviendo ahora? I would like to be in the original plan that God has for me. Yo quiero vivir en el plan original que Dios tenía para mí desde un principio. And he knows us, él nos conoce. But are you willing? Pero tú estás dispuesto. He's asking you today, te está preguntando ahora. Let's go back to the original plan. Let's make this miracle happen. I can say este milagro suceder. But you gotta let go. Dios quiere dejar ir. This blind man had to be willing. Este ciego tenía que tener las ganas de poder ver, de poder ver, that he wanted to want to see. Because if he didn't, because he no que hubiera quisiera, si no hubiera querido, he would have been like, don't put anything on my eyes. And I had to no pongas nada en mis ojos. Wait, 
But he said, yes, I know who you are. Yo sé quién eres. You're Jesus and you do make miracles happen. Yo sé que tú eres Jesús. And I washed, and then I could see. 
Y le dijeron, ¿cómo fueron abiertos los ojos? Respondió, y él les dijo, aquel hombre que se llama Jesús hizo todo, me untó los ojos y me dijo, ve al, al, al siloe y, y, y lávate. Y fui y me lavé y recibí la vista. So he went and he washed up and he was able to see. Fue, se lavó los ojos. Although he, 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 oh, he, he probably couldn't even see, a lo mejor no podía ni ver todavía. He was with the mud on his eyes, tenía los, los ojos con, con, con lodo. And he was walking and he was walking. And then he got to where the water was and he got to the agua. And he started washing y empezó a lavarse. And then he looked up and he was able to see. Y, y vio, abrió los ojos y empezó a ver. He was able to see, pudo ver. And as he was able to see, cuando pudo ver, he said, he went home, se fue a la casa. And he shared what had happened. Empezó a decirle lo que sucedió. How many of us have received a miracle from God? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han recibido un milagro de Dios? Have you shared it? Have you shared it? Can I tell you your testimony is powerful? Les puedo decir que su testimonio es muy poderoso. It could change somebody's life. Puede cambiarle la vida a alguien. Oh, Carlos, I'm too shy. I don't want to share it. I'm too shy. You could change somebody's life. Puedes cambiar la vida a alguien con tu propio testimonio. Tu testimonio es he went and he shared él fue y dijo lo que sucedió he told him about Jesus le dijo quien era Jesús that's what we're called to do es lo que nos Dios nos llama a hacer so today I want to tell you ahora te voy a decir if you had a messy life si tu vida si tu tuviste una vida sucia to do 
a miracle. Quiero hacer un milagro. But are you willing to let him? Lo vas a dejar. That depends on you. De eso depende en ti. This blind man could have been a blind his whole entire life. Este ciego podía haber sido ciego toda su vida. But he said no. Pero dijo no. He has said to Jesus, I said, fuck it, fools. And he let him do what Jesus does best. Le voy a hacer lo que Jesús hace mejor. He made a, a, a mess. He made a miracle. And todo eso, eso es sucio. Hizo un milagro. But I want to speak to those people first that have not accepted Jesus in their hearts. Primeramente quiero hablar de esas personas que nunca han recibido a Jesús en sus vidas. Jesus is calling you. Jesús está hablando. And he's saying, hijo, mija, he's saying, my son, my daughter. I love you, te amo. No matter what you've done, no importa lo que has hecho. But I want you to come to me. Quiero que vengas a mí. And I will take care of you. Yo te voy a, yo, yo te voy a cuidar. If that's you today, si ese eres tú, and you want to accept Jesus in your heart for the first time, y quieres aceptar a Jesús en tu vida por primera vez, This is a life changing moment. This is una vida. This is algo que te va a cambiar del resto de tu vida. If that's you, si ese eres tú, just raise your hand when you're at. Me levanta la mano donde estás. He's calling you. Te está llamando. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Dios. Thank you for what you do, Lord. 
gracias por 